Uh, hello, this is a short note for our Celestial Navigation course. Uh, just a demo of finding the time of local apparent noon or meridian passage. And so here's the exercise. This is actually a quiz question, quiz 3, number 17. It's July 5th, 25th, 1978, 9 o'clock watch time. DR position, 3844 West. You're becalmed, boat speed zero. You're planning to do a noon site. Uh, the watch is set to zone description plus three, uh, plus three, and the watch air is four seconds fast. What is the expected GMT of LAN from your position accurate to the nearest minute? What is the corresponding watch time accurate to the nearest minute? Well, four seconds fast watch time, and we're dealing with nearest minute. I'm going to guess that watch air is not going to enter the issue at all. So let's start this. The, the exercise uses tables that's in the back of our Celestial Navigation book here. And um, so let's start. What's the first thing we need to know? Uh, well, let me get a picture up here. Uh, well, let me get first to the right book. Okay, I'm going to take, that's our question. I got 38 North. So here is, I thought I made a bookmark. Yeah, the, so this is the back of the book. It's the, uh, it's the almanac. Does this hand work here? No. Does this work? No. Okay. Um, th this is the uh, d daily pages of the Nautical Almanac. So first of all, Here's that. Let me draw a sketch here, or I have drawn it. I want to show you. Here's the Earth, and here's the equator. This is the Greenwich Meridian. Longi it says G, but it's longitude zero degrees. Zero degrees. And when the sun goes by here, that time is listed in the Nautical Almanac. The Greenwich Mean Time, or the UTC time that the sun goes by, that point is listed for every day of the year in the Nautical Almanac. And we're over here. 38 degrees, 44 minutes to the west of that. And this GP, the point the point on the earth below the sun right here, is moving this way, locked in at the declination of the declination of the sun. At that latitude, it's locked in there and it's moving this way. And it's moving that way at the rate of 15 degrees per hour. And that's because the earth rotates one uh, 360 degrees in 24 hours. And that's the same as 15 degrees per hour, which is the same as 15 minutes per minute. But we can solve that a different way. So the first thing we have to do is look up in the Nautical Almanac. This is standard procedure. We look up in the Nautical Almanac. When did the sun? When is the sun here on this particular day? And that's what we get here. July 24th, 25th, 25th, yeah, 25th. And then here's the sun. And this is that called the Daily Pages. You go down to the bottom. And then over here, uh, October. Oh, okay. Oh, what's happening? Okay, it's right here. Uh, plus, plus. Where is the plus? Maybe I do Command plus. No. Oh, that's just making my picture there bigger. Oh, maybe I have to click this. Click this. Now Command plus. Yeah, okay. That makes that a little bit bigger. And then um, here we we'll see it. Okay, so it's at the bottom of the page. Uh, now I got to go minus so you see where we are. Okay, so there's a daily, there's a sample daily page of the Nautical Almanac. Um, and then in the, at the bottom of this page, you go down there and you see the number right here. And this is rounded to the nearest minute. It's 12.06 on the 25th. Look at 24, 25, 26. There's three days on a page. We take the middle one as 12.06. Now, if you wanted to... Um, if you wanted to be more precise, you could look at this, and it's technically, you could look at this. We're not doing that, but it's 12.06.27. 12.06.27. You could use that time. That's more accurate. But we, these types of predictions never have to be accurate to the 
you know, to the even to the minute, frankly. Uh, we're just predicting what time we're going to start doing our sun sites at noon. So it's 12.06. So now I come back here, and so now I know the sun was here at 12.06, and then I know it's moving this way towards me. This will be the time of local apparent noon when this is due south of me right here. And so I have to find out at 15 degrees per hour how long does it take the sun to get over here. And that we get from the arc to time table, which is in the back here. And here we've got, uh, let's see where this is. You see here's the arc to time table in the book. It's our table T7 in the back of our book. And then it's uh, 38 degrees. This is the heading of the table up here, 30, 0 to 59 going down this column. There's 38. That's 2 hours, 32 minutes. So that's 38 degrees, 2 hours, 32 minutes. Then we go over here to this side. Uh, to this side, this is the 0 to, uh, uh, zero to 1 degree. I mean 0 to 1 uh, um, Actually, that's zero to one degree, right? Zero to one degree. No, sixty minutes, forty-four minutes. Oh no, I am sorry. We did the degrees over here. This is the degrees, and over here, this table, this little mini table over here, are the minutes. So we had thirty-eight degrees. We got that from this side, and we get forty-four minutes from this side. And these, this is actually has several columns here at the. Let me show you several columns. But this means, and our our degrees are 44. And all we know is it doesn't even have, it's a DR position, so it doesn't have any decimal tense at all. But that's what these other ones are. This is 44 even. This would be 44.5. If for some reason you knew that, you would go over there. But we just know it's 44, and that's 2 minutes, 56 seconds. And we're dealing only with uh, to the nearest minute so we're going to just call that three minutes. Okay, so that's three minutes. So we have, um, uh, where do we have it here? 38 degrees equals two hours, 32 minutes. Oh, I didn't write it in here, but 44 minutes equals three minutes. And so I sum those up and I get two hours and um, 35 minutes. And that's how long it takes the sun to go from here to here. It started here at 12.06. So 12.06 plus 2 hours 35 minutes is 1441 UTC. So that's the answer for the Greenwich Mean Time or the UTC. They're the same thing. Then the second part of that question was B. What is the corresponding watch time accurate to the minute? All right, so let's go back to the definition of a UTC is equal to the watch time plus a zone description. And I put this in brackets because this zone description can have a minus sign, right? In the western longitudes, it's always plus. In the eastern longitudes, it's minus. So if this were a minus 5, this for, let's say that's 12 and that's minus 5, then the answer is 7. If this is a plus, it just adds it. And so then I just take this, I, I just re, uh, switch sides on the equation here. And uh, you've, you know, I move this to the other side. And then I get watch time equals UTC minus CD. Now if it's a minus something, it would be a plus. But uh, if it's just a regular plus, it'd be a minus. So our ZD is plus 3. Or it's given in the problem, ZD plus 3. So it's 1441 minus 3 is 1141. And so that's 1141 watch time. Now, this, all these equations and so forth, that, I, they should not be confusing. They should not tend to confuse. We should just ask ourselves, for example, where we are right now on daylight savings time in Seattle, we take our local time, that's our watch time, our local time, and I add seven hours to get to UTC. Right? So if it's like I could look up right this actually moment as I'm talking here, it's 1800. It's uh, 18. Uh, it's a little bit tricky because I'm changing the date. Let me not do that. But if it's like 12, <laughs> I don't want to make things hard for me. Okay, so it's let's say it's 12 o'clock, the middle of the day, 12 o'clock Seattle time. Then in Greenwich, uh, in England, is 12 plus 7 is 1900. Likewise, if I look and see somehow somebody tells me it's 10 o'clock in Greenwich, in UTC, 10 o'clock, then I just subtract 7 hours and I get uh, 
uh, 3 o'clock. So it's 3 o'clock. So 3 o'clock plus 7 is is 10 and so forth. So that's all there is to it. You just have to think in mind that the zone description is how many hours you add to the watch time to get to UTC. And to go back the other way, you just reverse it. Just reverse it. Okay, that's that, that's that exercise done.